It is time for August favorites, and I am in complete denial that summer is over. I just bought this shirt last week. Nothing's stopping me, even though I'm probably going to be freezing my butt off in about a month. I have a good selection of favorites from this last month. I have a little bit of everything, and I will start with two things that you can no longer get. I figured that I would just get them out of the way. I've been shopping my stash a lot this month because I just, I've felt the urge to go buy makeup so many times and I felt that the only way to quench the thirst for new makeup was to just take a, take a step back and look through what I have and I have rediscovered a couple of things that I put back in my rotation that I've really been enjoying. The first thing is this eyeshadow palette from Dior. It was from a summer collection. It's not part of their permanent collection, I don't think, and it was called Sun Deck. And this is actually what I'm wearing today with one of the By Beauty Multi sticks. It's a solid palette. There is a good mixture of shimmers and mattes and I'm just I'm glad I brought it back out of retirement. It's a nice palette especially for the summer. And the next thing is a lip liner. This is from Chanel and it's color number 68. It's a beautiful mauve rose color that is not available anymore. I believe again it was special special edition in a fall collection. I really like the color. It's very long lasting. I'm just not really a big fan of the current color selection of Chanel lip liners, so I haven't really felt the urge to pick up another one. The next makeup product that I have pulled out of the archives, and this is actually something that is part of a permanent collection, you can still get it, and it's the Burberry Light Glow Blush in the color Tangerine. This is such a pretty soft peach blush. It's beautiful. The texture of the Burberry Light Glow blushes is so, so nice. They are a very soft, luminous matte finish. They will not accentuate any texture, um, any scarring or anything. If you have acne scarring or anything like that on your cheeks or pores, if you have pore issues. The only downside of these blushes is the fact that they are very heavily scented. So if you have sensitive skin, um, if you are very sensitive to fragrance, you might want to smell these first and see if it's a smell that you can tolerate. The product itself is so beautiful that I put up with it. I've been wearing this a lot this month. And the next makeup product is this lip product. I'm wearing it today and I'm also wearing it in my everyday makeup tutorial that I did earlier earlier this month, so if you want to see this product in action, if you want to see a lot more products uh, that I've been enjoying in a makeup tutorial very similar to the makeup that I'm wearing today, go ahead and check it out. But this is the Maybelline Color Jewel, so this is in the color number 5, stripped down. It's a beautiful, cool toned mauve shade, very comfortable to wear, has a slight slight shiny finish to it. When you apply it, it just feels like a very, very thin gloss. It doesn't dry down matte or anything. It's just like wearing a very thin but pigmented, hydrating lipstick. It's beautiful. It has this sponge applicator and it has a really nice fragrance as well. It just has a very light fruity fragrance. I like the cool tone of it. I find that it makes my teeth look really white and it's a beautiful nude color and it will be really great for fall as well. It's not uh, it's not too pale. The last makeup product is an eyeliner. I'm wearing it today as well, but I don't think you can tell. I do have a blog post where you can see this color in action and you can see pictures up close, but this is the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. This is the fine liner and the color is blacker berry. I am a big fan of the Marc Jacobs eyeliner formula, the regular eyeliner pencils. I think they're called the highliner. I have really oily eyelids, so for an eyeliner not to budge, not to smudge on me is quite a big accomplishment. So I have no problems with the Marc Jacobs liners at all. I really love the color selection and the fine liner is awesome. You guys know I'm a big fan of the Hourglass 0.5 millimeter pencil and I love that for tight lining because the tip is really fine. You can really get in there. This is the exact same thing. It is very, very, very thin and you can get a precise wing liner with this. You can really get in there and tight line. You can just get right in between your lashes for just a very subtle but precise eyeliner application. You can do lots of different things and I really like the color Blackberry. Um, it's a beautiful, rich, dark purple and it's a nice, it's a nice alternative to black when you don't want your eyeliner to look as harsh. The only thing is that these only 
roll up, you cannot roll it back down. So you have to be really careful not to over roll it. Moving into skincare, this will come as no surprise. I have raved about this in my best of summer toners video and it's the May Lindstrom Skin Jasmine Garden. This is a face mist face toner. I use this as a skincare product. I don't use this. It's not a makeup setting spray or anything. So what I do is either in the morning or at night. After cleansing, I spray this on my face and then I let it sink in and then I go in with serum, moisturizer, or whatever I'm using for the day. But I just love the way this smells and it actually it actually feels like it does something on my skin. I'm not sure if it's my imagination or if it's just, you know, lingering hope that it does something because the price tag is so astronomical, but I really like it. I love the fragrance. The experience is really luxurious and the ingredients are really nice. I just, I love it. And sometimes when I come home from work, after I wash my face, I just go in and spray this and it just takes me to a better place. The next product is a face oil and this product is sadly going to be discontinued, I think. It's the Sunday Riley Artemis face oil and this is their face oil geared towards oily combination problem skin. They recently came out with, an, with a face oil called UFO and I believe that that will be replacing Artemis even though I find them to be quite different. I really love Artemis for whenever my skin is feeling out of whack, if it's getting too oily, even though it kind of sounds weird, but when my skin gets too oily, I, when I feel like it's just kind of not balanced anymore, I reintroduce this and I just find that the next morning it balances out my skin and I don't get as oily when I use this. There's just something magical about it. It's a very, very, very thick oil. I only use three drops of this and it's enough. I just press it all over my skin. It will leave you super, super glowy. Everyone that I know that uses this says the same thing about it, that it's really good for that, for just balancing your face. And because you only need a very small amount of it this will uh, will get you through quite uh, quite a length of time the last beauty related product I wanted to mention is a fragrance product and this is the Chanel Chanso fresh the sheer moisture mist this is not permanently available I only see it in the summer I see it popping around so it's kind of a seasonal product that they I it looks like they bring it in every spring summer the scent is really nice lightweight and fresh and clean so it's just the perfect fragrance to have for hot summer days Days and night. I have a couple of accessory type of things. And the first is this key holder that I bought. This was one of my birthday presents to myself. My birthday is actually the day you're watching this video, but obviously I like to celebrate and treat myself early. Starting August 1st, it's my birthday. This is the Louis Vuitton six key holder. Every time I use it, every time I take it out of my bag, it makes me really happy. I do keep my car key hanging out because I have to keep it in my car while I'm driving. So I keep my car remote out and then inside, I don't have a lot of keys. I actually don't only have my work key and my house key in here. Here are the keys and then I just keep my car key out. But there are six hooks. I just took three of them out because I wasn't using them. And my favorite part is that it also acts like a little card holder. You can sneak in your cards behind here in this flap. I just have a driver's license and a bank card in there. If I'm just rushing out the door, I can just grab this. I know I have ID in there and I have a bank card in case I need money and that's it. That's all I need. I can even put it in my jean pocket and I'm out the door. I think it's a great little designer accessory that actually is very versatile and very useful as well, at least for my lifestyle. The next thing is a pair of sneakers. I actually bought them in Vienna in July because the sneakers that I had brought on my trip were just giving me so many blisters. I have very, very, very sensitive feet. They blister so easily and we were doing a lot of walking in Europe. So once I went into a store and I saw these, these are by the brand DM. They are an Italian sneaker brand. They kind of remind me of Common Projects. It's the same type of vibe. Very, very minimalistic. As soon as I put my feet in these, it was like stepping on a cloud. They have amazing arch support. My boyfriend ended up picking up a pair for himself as well because they do have a men's line. And yeah, I'm just so happy with them. I really like the color too. It's this cool dove gray, but in some light can look like a purpley taupe. 
and I absolutely love them. And finally, for some non-beauty favorites, I've been binge watching vlogs that I had missed from two of my favorite ladies here on YouTube. The first is Estee, Estee Lalonde. I love her vlogs and I just, I keep them until they accumulate and there's like seven of them for me to watch in a row. So that's what I did this month. I really, really enjoyed her travel vlogs that she did when she went to LA and when she went back home to Canada. They're just, they're really really well made they're well filmed I like the vibe they're very relaxing to watch and they're very entertaining as well and I've also been enjoying Chelsea from Chelsea wears she just bulk upload she has like a back catalog of weekly vlogs that she has been putting out and I feel like in one week she put up like six vlogs so I've been binge watching those and I love her I had the pleasure of meeting her a couple of years ago in San Francisco and she's really witty and smart so those are the two vlog series that I've been binge watching this past month and then the other thing I wanted to mention is my favorite podcast of all time reply all they did a like murder mystery series the series is called on the inside I will link to them in the description box below if you're interested. The Reply All podcast is a podcast about the internet. So they found this guy that was blogging even though he was a convicted felon and he was in jail, but he found a way to maintain a blog through his mother. So it's just a really interesting story. It really brought back like serial vibes to back when the first season of serial dropped and I would be up up until like three in the morning just listening to the latest episode with suspense. So if you are feeling the nostalgia for season one of serial, check out those four episodes from that reply series below because I think you'd really like it. And that concludes my August favorites. I hope that you have had a fantastic month. And let me know what some of your favorite things were from the month of August. They can be beauty or non-beauty related. I am always, always excited to hear your recommendations recommendations. So put them in the comment section below and I will see you on Saturday with a new video. Bye!